Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ryan. I'm excited to dive into this because this is the Traveler. Boom. Yeah. Actually, uh, honestly, a pretty nice looking bottle. I love when they do this, where the inside of this back label is actually a map of a certain region in Kentucky. And you can see it through the bottle, right? You can see Lexington on there. Yeah, that's a neat touch. I like when uh, brands do stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. But anyways, this is The Traveler. This is a brand new collaboration. It's Buffalo Trace and Chris Stapleton, the musician. Yeah, that guy. So uh, I was excited about this on paper. And now that I have the bottle, it's $40 MSRP. It is 90 proof. I was excited about this on paper, but then uh, start reading up on it. I'm less excited. But I always want to give something a fair shake, give it an opportunity to, uh, you know, defeat your preconceptions and to earn itself its own unique reputation. So let me break this down for you. This is the Traveler from uh, Buffalo Trace and Chris Stapleton. Uh, it's got Harlan Wheatley's name on it, master distiller there at Buffalo Trace. But as I read up on it, here's what we learn. Well, here, I'll just read the blurb on the back for you. This is what it says. Good whiskey is like a good song. It requires no explanation. One taste should tell you everything you need to know. No one has to tell you how to feel about it. You simply settle in and enjoy it. For this first-of-its-kind collaboration from Buffalo Trace Distillery, Traveler brings together the collective artistry of Chris Stapleton and master distiller Harlan Wheatley. Blend number 40 is the carefully curated result of countless hours of tasting and testing. It is a completely unique combination of whiskeys from award-winning distilleries and exactly what you'd expect, a premium whiskey that speaks for itself. $40 MSRP, 90 proof. So... At least it's a uh, readily available Buffalo Trace product. But here's the part that concerns me. It's a completely unique combination of whiskeys from award-winning distilleries. Does not say Buffalo Trace. If this was their own juice, or mostly their own juice, I, I don't know, I feel like they would say so on the bottle, right? Because everyone goes buku bananas for Buffalo Trace. But it's available, and it's relatively cheap. Let's give it a shot. Brand new whiskey. I don't think you can call it bourbon. It's a blend of whiskeys. Uh, yeah. Proudly blended and bottled by Buffalo Trace Distillery in Frankfort, Kentucky. The bottle's pretty. It's simple and elegant. Let's nose this whiskey. I mean, surprisingly, the nose is not actually terrible. It's kind of like the bottling. It's simple, but not in a bad way. I get a little bit of like amaretto. Reminds me of the caramel sauce I would drizzle over some ice cream. Otherwise, there's really not a lot there. It's not unpleasant, but it is very simple. Let's try it. Before I say something harsh, I'm gonna give it another sip. I'm gonna give it another, another chance here. Let me start with the good. There's a hint of cherry, almost like you were nose down in a book and a cherry sprinted through the room and you looked up and you just caught the tail end of it. That's how much cherry is in this. But there is a little, there's some caramel, some, but this tastes remarkably unremarkable. Like it is overall fairly bland with a lot of ethanol and tannic oak on the tail end of it, at the end of the palette and then into the finish, which is pretty short. This is so lacking identity that I feel like it would be so hard to pick this out of a blind to know what it is, because it doesn't really taste like anything other than just a generic young whiskey. It doesn't have any character to it. It has like no identity, no soul. Man, that is extremely disappointing it's extremely disappointing i know that i mean not to knock on chris stapleton not to knock on buffalo trace but this just feels really uninventive to me like i would not feel comfortable with my name on that product on a shelf you know what i'm saying i'm just not sure about this one guys i don't know about this one <laughs> i keep going back in hoping to find something redeeming in there and i i don't i really don't and that is too bad. That may sound harsh. I try to be pretty generous. I try to be kind. 
with my reviews, but man, I'm really struggling with understanding what is this whiskey's identity? Who is it? What is it about? What's its character? What are its defining features? Those are the things that stand out to me when I think about bottles on my shelf, that when I look at them and my, my mind immediately goes to a specific profile, a specific kind of character, a unique sort of quality about that whiskey that stands out. I don't think I could find anything about this that's unique, that stands out, that gives it any sort of uh, sense of self, sense of identity. You know what I mean? And that's really too bad. I hate not liking whiskeys. I, I don't like not liking whiskeys. I don't like this. Yeah. And that's too bad. Well, what are you gonna do? You win some, you lose some. We lost some today. Well, either way, I appreciate you for tuning into the channel. Hopefully I saved you $40 today. Otherwise, maybe you're just like, you know what? I love Chris Stapleton's music. I love Buffalo Trace. And I'm still willing to roll the dice on a $40 buy to see if I like this bottle. Hey, be my guess. But for me and my palate and my money, this is a never again. I'm not going to buy that bottle ever again. Unless something really changes about the brand and they bring it around, they stay committed to it, it comes of age, and they really try to nail down its, uh, its character. Maybe I'll give it another shot in a couple of years. But for now, this is a no buy, no sir. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters, you guys who fund these bottles for me to go out and pick up and a review here on the channel. Really appreciate you, especially those of you as well who send in samples. Uh, we've had a lot of those lately as well, and it really helps keep the content flowing so I can keep reviewing whiskeys, doing blinds, all that stuff. That's all super fun for me to do. Also, big shout out to Driftless Glen. I got a couple of their bottles right there. They sent me like a full care package this week with some uh, some great whiskeys in there that I'm excited to, to dive into here on the channel as well. Cheers, my friends. May you live richly and get better with age, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.